city's looking to upgrade most of the water lines along Rosewood and throughout the Rosewood neighborhood. Now, so Rosewood Drive is the northernmost section of this project. So Rosewood Drive is going to get a new water line and then south of there is going to be where all of the rest of the new water main is going to be going. The residents have done a great job of informing us of the poor water quality that they've had. They've got um, dirty water. Some of it, it appears dirty. It's still perfectly fine to drink, but it is tough to visually look at in some ways. Um, and we've also had residents with very low water pressure. Some of that just comes with water lines being old. Some of it comes with more demand on the system as a whole and Rosewood just not having the upgrades that they've needed in the past 20 to 30 years. So we're trying to catch up on the infrastructure. The work that's going to be done is going to be just a three foot wide trench, um, mostly going to be on the edge of the road. It's going to be all in DOT and city right of way. Phase one is estimated to be done spring of 25. Uh, phase two will end around fall of 26. And phase three is going to end around spring of 2027 right now with our projections. The current estimate for the project is around $34 million. The city has budgeted out phase one and two already, and phase three will be discussed coming up with the upcoming councils. Overall, our, our main goal is to get everybody clean, safe drinking water. Some roads blocked off occasionally. There should always be access to everybody's house, but there might be a few detours, just how you get into your driveway occasionally. As the contractor makes their way through the project, the residents can expect a door hanger on their uh, front doors to let them know that there might be a period of time for about an hour while their new water line is getting hooked up to the meter that they'll be without water. And, but that's really the, the maximum amount of time that you'll have any water difference effects. ColumbiaSCWater.net will have all the information that you need or you can call General Engineering at 545-3400.